in the last class mainly we have done all about the uh, concept of de broglie hypothesis isn't it and yes, uh, in this hypothesis we try to understand the wave nature of particle and which is actually uh, hypothetically given by the de broglie so this is not a basically any mathematical proof kind of thing and uh, but yes de broglie whatever de broglie says that uh, there is wavelength lambda is associated with any moving particle with momentum p so this lambda is nothing but h upon p so this is our de broglie wavelength and we have to always be careful that if we are writing this particular p then this particular h is equal to nothing but m into v and what is this particular v this v is classical velocity isn't it ye jo v hai wo v kya hai classical velocity hai means the concept of de broglie hypothesis will be only in those region where particle is classically moving are you getting my point humne ek problem bhi kiya tha jahan par energy potential energy se kam tha us region mein we cannot find the de broglie wavelength isn't it because your momentum is itself imaginary so what we have done we are just trying to calculate this particular formula h is equal to mv for the classical region so this is very useful thing but actually which kind of concept is there what is actually happening this is very mesmerizing so we will try to learn all this thing with the help of group velocity and phase velocity this is very interesting but before that let us go for one basic problem and uh, first time you will feeling you will have feeling of uh, basically a quantization of any energy and quantization of any physical quantity what is meaning of quantization by the way the packets discreteness of discreteness H isn't it either you have one or you have second there is nothing between one and two yes this is all about quanta you this is easily countable okay so now let us try to go for one very fundamental question and this is this question have asked in lot of time in your exam in different type so what is this question the particle is trapped into one dimensional box okay zero to a and particle is trapped in one dimensional box of length a can you imagine one dimensional box can you imagine one dimensional box dhruvi can you imagine this thing what is one dimensional box hmm you can just assume that particle is moving in a line and the boundary of the edge edge of the line is fixed and they are rigid isn't it yes sir so this is the manifestation of one dimensional box so your particle cannot be go outside this particular box so if particle cannot go outside this particular box it will be trapped in this side particular box so using de broglie hypothesis so what is problem the problem is that using de broglie hypothesis de broglie hypothesis find the energy find the energy find the momentum and energy find the momentum and possible energy energy of particle okay possible energy of particle obviously classically your particle is just a point particle and it is moving obviously that this is not a stationary particle if particle will stationary this de broglie hypothesis is nothing to do with this okay it has some momentum so if particle have some momentum then obviously there is some de broglie wavelength is associated okay sir sir ek question tha ha bolo sir ye jo de broglie hypothesis mein h by p hum log likhte hain dekhiye relativistic domain mein bhi hum log likh sakte hain bilkul ye aap relativistic domain mein bhi likhoge या फिर नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक डोमेन में लिखोगे 
डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट इज योर एनर्जी एंड वॉट इज योर स्पीड ऑफ पार्टिकल सपोज किसी ने दे दिया कि आपकी स्पीड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन की वो है थ्री इंटू टेन टू दावर सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके अगर ये एक स्पीड है पार्टिकल की तो आप m जो मास है उसे क्या लिखोगे दैट इज रिलेटिविस्टिक मास ओके ऑलवेज 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 टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर यूनिट ऑलवेज टेक केयर ऑफ एनर्जी सपोज एनर्जी इज इन किलो इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट गो फॉर द रिलेटिविस्टिक सपोज एनर्जी इज इन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट गो फॉर द रिलेटिविस्टिक ओके सो मच बेटर है आप इसको कुछ ऐसे लिख लो लैमडा इज इक्वल टू एच अपॉन एम नॉट वी रूट अंडर वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट बट इफ वी इज लेस लेस देन सी देन ऑब्वियसली दिस विल बी लेमडा इज इक्वल टू वॉट एच अपॉन एम नॉट वी एम नॉट वी ओके सो दिस इज फॉर द केस वी इज लेस लेस देन सी ओके सो ऑलवेज यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रेंज ऑफ एनर्जी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज एंड इट आप देख रहे हो अगर स्मॉल रेंज है तो फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट हो जा रहा है ज्यादा एनर्जी है तो कॉम्पटन इफेक्ट जैसी चीजें हो रही है सो यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रेंज और कॉम्पटन इफेक्ट हम विदाउट नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक करेक्शन नहीं कर सकते हैं रिमेम्बर है ना वहां पर रिलेटिविस्टिक कैलकुलेशन ही करना होगा सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एनी वे सो लेट्स कम टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्रॉब्लम एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू फिगर आउट वॉट आर द पॉसिबल मोमेंटम एंड पॉसिबल एनर्जी ऑफ अ पार्टिकल एंड दिस पार्टिकल इज मूविंग so obviously if this particle is moving there is wavelength associated to this particle there may be different uh, different wavelength associated to the particle yes so we know if particle is trapped and if we know my wave is actually trapped between two rigid rigid is then which kind of shape can be possible obviously you can assume that they can be possible say the fundamental mode ho sakta hai na yes sir the particle can have fundamental mode the particle can have what first orbiton yes and you can yes, have sir. particle can have something like second orbiton or so on if you are assuming some wave is associated with this particle then this wave will fulfill the boundary condition and it will also fulfill this particular fundamental modes है ना दिस पर्टिकुलर मोड्स फंडामेंटल फर्स्ट ओवरटोन सेकंड ओवरटोन हो सकता है ना यस सर अगर वेव एसोसिएटेड है तो अकॉर्डिंग टू डिब्रोगी बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्क दैट यूजिंग द डिब्रोगी हाइपोथेसिस व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू फाइंड द एनर्जी एंड मोमेंटम ऑफ अ पार्टिकल और फर्स्ट मोमेंटम एनर्जी एंड ऑब्वियसली दिस पार्टिकल इज फ्री इनसाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स सो दिस इज फ्रीली मूविंग देयर इज नॉट एनी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी व्हाटएवर बी द एनर्जी दैट एनर्जी इज एक्चुअली व्हाट काइनेटिक एनर्जी so the total energy is equal to kinetic energy and the classical energy is all about p square upon 2m this is my classical energy we just want to calculate all possible length of this particular what will be the fundamental mode so obviously this is what lambda by 2 na yes sir and this is what lambda lambda and this is what 3 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 okay so what you can do for the first for the fundamental mode for fundamental mode for the fundamental mode i can say lambda by 2 is equal to what a so what is value of lambda that is value is 2a so if lambda is 2a according to de broglie what are the possible momentum bataiye P is equal to what? H upon lambda. Yes. yes and then the possible momentum is H upon two a. This is my possible momentum. So what will be my energy? What is my energy? H. So C energy two. is equal to P square upon two m. I am just taking the classical energy, not relativistic okay. energy, right okay. now. ठीक okay. है? So what do you have? What is this value? H square upon eight m a square, isn't it? Yes. So my one energy is if this mode is going to appear, then my energy is equal to H square upon 
8 ma square now let us and this is for the fundamental one let us try to go for first overtone what is value of lambda batai what is value of lambda a a what is this distance this distance is a so lambda is equal to a so what is your momentum p is equal to h, h upon a. a so what i am doing i am just trying to write two way in the denominator such that i can get some particular trend so i can multiply with two as the numerator at the as well as denominator yes yes so what will be my energy my energy is equal to p square by 2m again and now you can say this time your energy is 4h square upon 8m square my goodness what is happening either my energy is h cut h square upon 8m square or the next energy is what 4h square upon 8m square so this is something this is something 2 time 2 square of the fundamental energy isn't it suppose this yes, fundamental sir. energy is e not so this is 2 square of the fundamental energy isn't it yes so this is i am writing this one is e1 and let us write this one is e2 such that this is match with this one so this will be 1 square into h h upon 8 ma square and i can write this particular thing h square upon 8 ma square is equal to e naught lik sakte na yes so what is your e1 yes. e1 is equal to what 1 square into e naught yeah. and what is your e2 2 square into e naught can you tell me what can be possible value of e3 and you can calculate it yes. with yourself you can calculate it with yourself but you will yes. find yes. that value is equal to 9 time e naught and this is your 3 square e naught similarly you will go 4 square e naught 5 square e naught so this so what is happening here so you can see now your momentum as well as energy is not continuous quantized they are basically either you have e naught energy or you have 2 e naught energy sorry 4 e naught energy or you have 9 e naught energy and you can say this is quantized this is quantized and at the microscopic level when we are talking about some particle moving in one dimension and we are just bounding this particular particle with a some rigid uh, boundary then we have seen that okay the energy is really discrete there is discreteness in energy so why and from there you can explain the band theory of solid state and all that this kind of thing isn't it so it works it works actually जो आपने ऑब्जर्वेशन में देखा जो आपने अपने सिस्टम में देख रहे हो इवन इफ दिस डिब्रोगी हाइपोथेसिस इज वेरी वेरी हाइपोथेटिकल इन नेचर इट वर्क्स फॉर योर सिस्टम एंड फर्स्ट टाइम यू कैन सी यू कैन जस्ट एक्सप्लेन योर क्वांटाइजेशन इन एनी पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिब्रोगी हाइपोथिस आर यू पीपुल एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर यस सर सो दिस इज वेरी फंडामेंटल थिंग so let us try to go for what is actually happening kis tarah ki cheeze ho rahi hai kaise hum isko samajh sakte hain kya hum ise dekh sakte hain ye zara hum samajhne ki koshish karte hain theek hai and what is actually velocity of a particle if we are talking about some wave kya hum dekh rahe hain usko wo zara hum samajhne ki koshish karte hain with the help of group velocity and phase velocity okay sir sir ek doubt tha mera ha bolo bolo सर वो आपने पहले जब किया वो क्या हम लोग खाली रिलेटिविस्टिक डोमेन में यूज कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर नहीं यहाँ पर नहीं सर आप आप मैंने जब बोला एस सी बाई लैमडा वो वाला एनर्जी एस सी बाई लैमडा मीन्स हाँ एनर्जी इक्वल टू एस सी बाई लैमडा दिस इज फॉर द फोटोन दिस इज फॉर द फोटोन ओके है ना दिस इज फॉर दोटोन सम रेडिएशन विच इज मूविंग एक्चुअली स्पीड ऑफ लाइट ओके सर अंडरस्टैंड ओके okay so let us try to go for a very fundamental thing we have done this thing 
since science uh, since your young young double slit experiment and all this thing the superposition of wave and what is this particular superposition of wave we will just try to take it in a very simple form it is very simple form some thing is not so simple like that but yes from simple form we can explain actually what is going to happen are you getting my point yes sir kya ho raha hai wo hum samajhne ki koshish kar rahe at the very primitive level but actual physics is very 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 different okay but we will koi bhi jo great physics hai वो बेसिकली फंडामेंटल से ही शुरू होता है सो लेट ट्राई टू गो फॉर सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ टू वेव व्हिच हैज वेरी स्लाइट डिफरेंट ऑफ वेवलेंथ एज वेल एज स्लाइट डिफरेंट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू सी व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर दिस सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी फेमस एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट इज ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड फेज वेलोसिटी ओके and from there we try to understand what is this particular de broglie wavelength and how this de broglie wavelength is associated to the classical velocity of a particle yes let us try to go for this okay so let's go for group velocity and phase velocity what i have i have a wave and i am denoting the actually quantum mechanical net uh, uh, notation that is psi1 you can take anything you can take y1 don't worry so that psi1 is equal to a sin kx minus omega t you can take omega t minus kx nothing to do with this okay and you can take you have to take actually n number of wave but if we are doing for the superposition for n number of wave it will be little bit messy okay so what we are doing we are just trying to take another wave and that is second wave which is slightly different k and different omega so what is this value this value is a sin k plus delta k my into x obviously into x and i have to take one more bracket and omega plus delta omega into t so i am just trying to take these two wave and trying to make the superposition of this thing so psi is equal to nothing but psi1 plus psi2 so what we have we have a and we are taking for the simplicity we are also taking the amplitude is same okay and then we are just trying to figure out what is going to happen so obviously this is a sin kx minus omega t plus sin k plus delta k x minus omega plus delta omega t on both side okay and this a is something like this okay so i can give one more bracket theek hai now what is sin a plus b so what is sin, sin a, a plus b ha huh? sir so, sin a plus sin b hai na ha that is sin a plus sin a b plus sin b ha huh, sin so, a plus sin b so you have cos a minus b and sin a plus b isn't it yes sir and 2a is there and by 2 is also there So yes. you have this formula. I am writing this formula. Sine A plus sine B is equal to what? Cos A plus B by two or so A minus B A by two? B. A minus B. That is A minus B by two and sine A plus B by two into two time, isn't it? Yes. So this is my formula so i can use this is my a this is my b so this value is equal to you can take 2a and first thing is cos part so cos a minus b so what do you have you have kx minus omega t minus k plus delta k x 
माइनस माइनस प्लस ओमेगा प्लस डेल्टा ओमेगा टी ठीक है ना और यू कैन टेक समथिंग माइनस और फिर इसको ऐसे कर सकते हो ओके ए माइनस बी क्लियर है ये एंड व्हाट इज सेकंड और बाय टू बाय टू इज आल्सो देयर सो प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल दिस फैक्टर एंड व्हाट इज सेकंड वन यू हैव साइन के प्लस डेल्टा के सॉरी यहां मैंने क्या कर दिया उल्टा कर दिया ना के एक्स माइन हाँ ठीक है दैट इज ठीक है ओके के प्लस डेल्टा के एक्स सॉरी क्या लिख रहा हूं वेट वेट दिस इज के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी प्लस के प्लस डेल्टा के इंटू एक्स माइनस ओमेगा प्लस डेल्टा ओमेगा इंटू टी ओके नाउ वॉट विल हैपन हियर दिस के एक्स इज कैंसिल आउट इज एंड इट एंड ओमेगा इज ऑल्सो कैंसिल आउट सो द फर्स्ट टर्म इज वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू ए एंड कॉस ओमेगा इज कैंसिल आउट दिस माइनस 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 प्लस एंड दिस माइनस इज कैंसिल आउट सो you have this minus delta k by 2x plus delta omega by 2t am i correct sahi likha hu main yes sir hai na just check it and cos minus sign is also minus cox uh, so cos minus and cos plus is same thing so we can take minus sign common so this can we come to Negative also, so there is not any problem. And the second term is sine. What you have? Two k plus delta k, isn't it? Yes, sir. So this value is equal to two k plus delta k minus two omega minus two plus omega delta plus delta omega. Delta omega. By two into t. Are you people happy? Yes, sir. So this thing I can write something like this. So don't worry. Two a cos delta k by two into x minus delta omega by two into t. And here I can just say. Delta k is very small in comparison to delta k is very very less in comparison to k, and delta omega is very very less in comparison to omega. We are just taking delta k tends to zero and delta omega tends to zero. So I can neglect this part here. Yes, sir. है ना? We can neglect this part. So if we are neglecting this part, we are getting the original wave k x minus omega t. Isn't it? Yes, sir. This wave, exactly this wave, isn't it? And now look at here. So what you have, you have one wave that is actually, if I am comparing to this particular wave, this is my sine wave, this is original wave, and what is going to happen? So this is the wave part. So can I say this is the amplitude part? Yes, sir. Variable amplitude. Variable amplitude. Obviously, this is the amplitude part yes. whose amplitude is varying with the cos sine. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the amplitude part, and this is the wave part. But thing is that this amplitude part is also have is is a periodic function, isn't it? Yes, sir. This is also some type of wave cos something a x minus b t is also a some wave. and this yes, is your original wave so what is going to happen it's a very important thing so you can see the wave is moving in a packet of cos this is your amplitude part are you getting my point yes sir this is your amplitude part so initially your amplitude is fixed that is constant amplitude but currently your amplitude is moving with this particular thing this in the, as a function of 2a cos kx Minus delta omega 
t delta k by 2 delta omega by 2 so what is going to happen let us try to understand here yahan tak clear hai na kisi ko kuch puchna hai to puch lo otherwise i have to just uh, uh, remove all this fact all this thing everyone okay are you people happy yes sir ek hi bachcha bata raha hai baki log chale gaye ho kya okay chalo agar doubt hoga to baad mein aap puchna fir but obviously this chalo last mein rehne dete hain baki sab hatate hain so what we have we have basically amplitude part so amplitude part is moving something like in a packet this is your amplitude part okay and this is same height maximum height ek jagah par same aayega so this is moving in a packet okay that is this particular part cos delta x minus delta omega by t obviously two factor is there and inside this this particular wavy part is there this is your wave and this is your wave okay this is your wave and now if you will see this whole amplitude is also moving with some velocity are you getting my point this whole amplitude is moving with what velocity delta so, omega by delta, delta k delta k hai na yahi to hota hai velocity of a wave delta omega by delta k and this wave is moving with velocity what omega, omega by, by k. k yes sir and now cross packet first explain kar sorry sir ye aapne bola na cross packet hmm cross packet nahi this is ye jo hai ye to amplitude hai na iska agar yes, ye cross nahi rehta to kaise move to kaisa hota aapka profile aisa hi hota na एम्पलीट्यूड विल बी सेम इज एंड इट इसको भूल जाओ ऐसा ही होता बट ये कॉस आने से एम्पलीट्यूड कैसा मूव कर रहा है कॉस की तरह मूव कर रहा है तो कॉस की वैल्यू क्या होती है घटती है बढ़ती है ऐसा ही होता है एक साइनसोडल पैटर्न में चलता है यस है ना सो सो वॉट है बट दे आर बेसिकली चेंजिंग दे आर जस्ट बेसिकली चेंजिंग जैसे कि आपने देखा होगा सपोज आई एम राइटिंग ए साइन के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी इसको मैं अगर प्लॉट करूंगा तो कुछ ऐसा ही होगा ना यस yes? yes, और अगर मैं प्लॉट करूं ए टू दी पावर माइनस गामा एक्स साइन के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी प्लॉट कैसा होगा डैम्पिंग है ना समथिंग लाइक डैम्पिंग ऐसा ही तो होता है यू विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द मैक्सिम एंड फाइनली यू विल वॉट डैम वाई बिकॉज एम्पलीट्यूड इज डैम्पिंग आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट Yes, and similarly, if amplitude is cos, so you are just having some sinusoidal wave. Sinusoidal amplitude is just moving on, and the best part is that this has velocity d omega upon d k, and this has velocity omega upon k, and here we are defining these two velocity that v g is nothing, but we are defining the group velocity. You can assume some group is moving. Some group is moving. okay so there are a lot of waves we are just going to superimpose and they make one particular group and this group is just moving something like this so if this is so this vg is nothing but d omega upon dk we can write it in term of energy if we are multiplying with h cut so this will be also written as de upon dp okay this is my group velocity and what is my phase velocity my phase velocity is nothing but omega upon k and you can write e this p. value is e upon p e. now it's a very interesting what is physical meaning of group velocity and what is physical meaning of phase velocity this is very interesting and we will just try to see three type of particle one and we will take the simply free particle first one will be the classical particle which will not follow the relativistic thing second we will take the light particle as a photon 
and third we will take the relativistic particle okay and in these three case we will try to figure it out what will be my group velocity and what will be my phase velocity then i can give you then then i can give you answer what are going to happen okay clear hai yes okay sir. good so now let's try to go for first a classical particle classical non relativistic particle okay what we have we have classical non relativistic particle which means we are talking about bg uh, sorry energy e i can write this person relation in e and term of e and p and omega and k एग्जाम में क्या देगा आपको ओमेगा वर्सेस के दे देगा आपको ग्रुप वेलोसिटी फेज वेलोसिटी निकालना होगा ई वर्सेस पी देगा यू कैन इजली एंड दीज आर नॉन एज व्हाट डिस पर्सन रिलेशन रिलेशन से बिटवीन ओमेगा एंड के इज नॉन एज डिस पर्सन रिलेशन सो दिस इज नॉट अ बिग इशू द बिग इशू इज दैट हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस थिंग सो वी आर राइटिंग ई इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू एम इज एंड इट एंड दिस इज फॉर नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक पार्टिकल non relativistic particle okay what will be de upon dp this is group velocity yes yes and what is this value differentiate it 2p upon 2m what you are getting p upon m what is this particular value what is p upon m velocity velocity of a particle velocity. momentum yes, by mass is nothing but what velocity of a velocity of part part particle and this is velocity classical velocity of a particle isn't it so this yes, v sir. is nothing but classical velocity of a particle now let us try to calculate what is vp here what is vp this is nothing but e upon p and what will happen p square upon p into 2m and what is p upon 2m this is half of the classical velocity something like this isn't it sir ye iska thoda samajh bhi nahi aaya half wala oh mujhe bhi nahi samajh mein aa raha that is the problem this is not any particular thing pehle karte hain fir baat karenge hai na theek hai sir theek hai so obviously this is p by 2 upon m so in here you can say vz is what less than vp okay sorry vp is less than vz hai na vp is less than vg clear hai ye yes this is your phase velocity nothing p upon 2m and what is meaning of p upon 2m i don't know actually let us go for a photon what is for photon what is energy for photon this is for basically your classical particle let's go for photon what is energy for photon is e is equal yes, to pc yes sir okay yes. so let's calculate vg de upon dp that is equal to c yes and let's calculate vp that is e upon p that is also equal to c so for photon group velocity and phase velocity is same thing isn't it yes ho raha hai sorry vp and vg vp is equal to and for the classical particle vp is less than vg now let's go for some relativistic particle not photon exactly some particle so what is your e square e square is equal to what p square c square plus m not square c4 so we will just first try to figure it out what are the basic relationship so this value is what so you can write 2e de upon dp is equal to 2p c square likh sakte hai na 
and this two and two is cancel out. Here you have E upon P and DE upon DP is equal to C square. This is very famous equation. Anna? So what do you have? You have VP into VZ must be equal to C square. Yes. Are you people getting this, this condition? Yes, sir. Okay. Exam me kai baraya hai. What is value of VP into VG? That is C square. Now let us try to calculate VP, VG actually for the relativistic particle. So what is energy? The energy for the relativistic particle is root under P square C square plus M naught square C4. So what will be DE upon DP? Did I calculate karke batao ge kya hoga? So you have PC square upon root under P square C square plus M naught square C4. Lick sakte na? Pahle half ko different, pahle half se differentiate kiya, phir P square ka 2 aagaya, 2 and 2 cancel. Yes? And what is this value? This value is what? PC square upon total energy? Lick sakte hai se? And what is this value? P is equal to, you can write M naught V C square root under one minus V square upon C square, where V is the velocity of a particle. Okay. And what is E? E kya hoga? M naught C square root under one minus V square upon C square. Isn't it? So what do you have? M naught C square and this term is going to cancel out and this value DE upon DP is nothing but the velocity of a particle, which is group velocity. Yes. Ye ho sakta hai something C by four type se kuch ho. Are you getting my point? That will be function of alpha. So look at here for the relativistic case. This is very surprising. Are people comfortable into all this calculation? And now if we are taking here VP into VG is equal to C square and VG is nothing but the velocity of particle, which is less than C. Yes. This V is always less than C. So now let us use this space. Kahan par use karu mein se? Hmm. use kar leta Isko baad mein baat kar lenge. Okay. For the relativistic particle. This is relativistic particle. And for the relativistic particle, we have VG is equal to again velocity of a particle. But what is your VP? What is your VP from here? That is C square upon VG and that is C square upon some velocity and this V is less than C. So here VP is greater than C, isn't it? This VG is what? Less than C, but phase velocity is greater than C. So you can see your phase velocity has not any physical relevance. Kya koi physical relevance hai? Koi aise velocity hoi nahi sakti hai, jo C se upar jai. Isn't it? But you have a very nice, we have very nice concept for the group velocity. Every time, every time group velocity is nothing but the velocity of a particle. Isn't it? Are you getting my point? In the non-relativistic case, your VG is equal to V. That is velocity of a particle. In case of photon, your VG is equal to C. Photon is moving with the speed of C. In this case, VG and VC both is same. But look at this relativistic case. Your VG is less than C, but your VP is greater than C. So this is greater than C. How it can possible that anything which can be greater than C. So this 
phase velocity is some kind of mathematical interpretation they have not any physical meaning phase velocity because it can have more than a speed of light but what is actual thing actual thing is the group velocity and this group velocity is associated with the velocity of a particle this is exactly equal to nothing but the velocity of a particle so when we are writing the de broglie wavelength this lambda this lambda is equal to what h upon m into v and now just tell me this v is group velocity or phase velocity group velocity this v is nothing but equivalent to what group velocity of a particle and you can assume you can assume that if my whole thing is moving something like this so you can just assume that this is a packet and this is very famously known as wave packet and you can have something like this so this is oscillating very fast you cannot know anything about this particular thing because it has not any physical quantity but this packet this packet is actually moving with the velocity of a particle which is nothing velocity of a particle so this group velocity is actually associated with the de broglie wavelength are you getting my point and this is also this has also some wavelength isn't it look at here this has also some wavelength this has also some wavelength so when we are plotting this particular wavelength of a particle okay so you can just assume that this particle is moving with the some velocity v and that velocity is actually which velocity group velocity or phase velocity group velocity and there are n number of different abstract wave is associated with this particular particle and when they superimpose they will form a group a wave packet and that wave packet is moving with a velocity of a particle and that wavelength of that packet which is also wave is actually associated with the de broglie wavelength are you getting my point yes sir aur yahi se fir aage ja kar ke soringer wave equation mein प्रोबेबिलिटी डेंसिटी के भी कॉन्सेप्ट होकर के आती है जहां हम ये कहीं ना कहीं इस चीज की बात करते हैं कि दैट पार्टिकल के किसी न किसी रीजन में होने की कुछ न कुछ प्रोबेबिलिटी होगी बट दैट इज नॉट एक्जेक्टली सेम थिंग बट इंट्यूशन कैन बी कम फ्रॉम हियर आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट है ना जो कि हम आगे क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स में करेंगे बट करेंटली दिस इज अ वेरी फंडामेंटल थिंग फ्रॉम द ग्रुप वेलोसिटी एंड फेज वेलोसिटी यू कैन एक्सप्लेन what is which velocity is associated with the particle and which wavelength is associated to the particle theek hai so every the actual the physical thing is group velocity phase velocity is not a physical thing so why sometime it is coming less than less than group velocity sometime it is coming to the same as the group velocity and sometime it is coming more than group velocity as well as more than speed of light because it is not physical it can come anything isn't it yes so this is the very fundamental thing if you want to again go and revise and if you want to really read some article then go and read the bezer of this particular book of this particular topic okay author bezer yes. you can just go for that and the in next class we will try to we will go into next step we will try to understand all this thing from the help of uncertainty principle okay and everything is connected don't worry everything is connected okay yes sir because everything is wave as well as particle yes yes okay particle is there but their wave in thing can be explained by their amplitude isn't it particle ka jo manifestation hai wo kya hai wave ka jo amplitude aapko mil raha hai that is cos part wo bata raha hai hai na kahin na kahin Yes, sir. Amplitude, amplitude part is more important than the wave part. The amplitude part here is, and basically, if you take two, three, four, n number of wave, le lo, 
या फिर कंटिन्यूस चेंजेस लो तो आपको इंटीग्रेशन के टर्म में लिखना पड़ेगा सो हियर द फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विल कम इन टू पिक्चर एंड यू कैन राइट थिंग इन के स्पेस एंड योर एक्स स्पेस और इसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे दो डिफरेंट स्पेस किस तरह से एक साथ आते हैं दैट इज ऑल अबाउट अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल ओके हाँ बोलो सर so, मुझे टेस्ट में से एक छोटा सा डाउट था हाँ बोलो सर so, जो क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ है उसमें हम 